Hello everybody, it's Kim. I wanted to show you what I picked up was just delivered. Yes, I have waited for four years till I finally found one at a price I could afford. I picked up a fruit press. It holds a little over three gallons of mashed up apples. I do have an apple crusher coming, but that's going to take a couple weeks from Amazon. I was really excited. I've been watching these. This is a really good rated. It's four and a half plus stars. And it normally runs right around $150 to $160. Well, it was been on my wish list, like I said, for quite a few years now. And I picked it up for a little under $83. So I'm really excited. I got this and the grinder for the same price that I would normally pay for this. Now, as you know, I have three acres here, but what you might not know is I also have eight apple trees and a pear tree. So this is going to come in so handy for me and my family. We love cider, and now we can do it ourselves. We won't have to buy it in the store anymore. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of these. You can see I got one done. See the difference in the color? I'm putting a, an oil on these, just some mineral oil. I wish I had boiled linseed oil, but I don't. Um, and that'll help protect the wood a little bit. So I'm going to take all of these slats over by my sink, and I'm going to put some mineral oil on them. And I'm going to, I don't want to have to put it together now, but because I got it from Amazon, I only have 30 days to return it if there's something wrong. So I'm going to have to put it together. But I just wanted to show you one of my next projects, and I'm really excited. And this fall will take you along when the family's doing some cider. But until then, I'm going to get to work oiling up these slats. I'll see you in a little bit. All right, I got all of these oiled up. And, you know, I'm pretty happy so far. I found two that um, they're okay, but I think I'm going to sand them down just a little bit. They're just a little bit... Like when I rub them, it'll pull a little bit of the paper towel up. They could be used like this, but I just figured, you know what, before I put it together, that one and this one, honestly, it's so minor. I could probably get away with it, but I have to sand that one a little bit on the edge here. I don't know if you can see. It's just a little bit rough on the edge. So I'm going to sand these two up a little bit and then put some more mineral oil on them. But so far, I'm pretty impressed with um it seems like a nice good hard wood and um you know we'll see when i get it together how it goes together that'll be the next step i did read the directions and i know you have to be careful which end you put together see this one's got can you see it's got a slight bevel to it this is the one i have to sand can you see how rough that one is this one is pretty rough but it's got a bevel on one end like these two do and it's straight on the opposite end so you have to make sure when you put these together that the straight ends are all down and all the beveled edges are up but I'm going to get to that step after I sand these up and I'm going to see how much the oil soaks in if it soaks in a lot I'm going to do a second coat on these like I said, I'm not going to be using these for several months, so I just want them to be well protected. I don't want the wood to dry out. It'll make it much uh, last much longer in the long run. Um, so it's worth taking the time to do it now versus later. So that's what I'm going to do next. I'm going to sand these up, put a coat of oil on them. I'm going to let these sit for a couple hours, and then if I need to, I'm going to add another coat of oil to them. So just wanted to let you know what steps I'm doing, and you know what? I'll put it together for you, and we'll see how it goes once we will work it step by step. How's that? See you in a few. I'm pretty happy. That sanded up really well. I only had, uh, it was 150 grit. It took me maybe two minutes to sand these two pieces up, and there's no more um, roughness to them now. So that was pretty good. In looking at them, there's a, only one or two slats I would be a little bit worried about. This one has a bit of a knot in it, but otherwise, they seem to be in pretty good shape. So, that's the first step. And I think I'm going to find, just while I have it out, I'm going to find any other wooden pieces, and I'm going to go ahead and 
Um, once again, I'm just using plain old mineral oil. For those of you that don't know, this is a really, really old uh, method of helping with constipation, so it's safe to take internally. I've used it in the hospital for many, many years, and um, I'm not worried about it. So it's not like, uh, you know, I don't know if you would call it food grade, but it is, it is safe to take internally. So I'm going to grab any other wooden pieces and see if they need any sanding, but they're definitely going to get a coat of the oil on there. And once they get ready to put the rings on, We'll come back. I thought there was a couple more wood pieces. This goes on top of your pulp when you want to mash it down. And then you put this on top. And then you have some spacer blocks. As the screw starts going down, you know, you have to put spacer blocks. Now, I did see in a lot of the comments that this, I will need a couple more of these. And the directions kind of allude to it. It says you may need you may need more spacer blocks well I know for sure I will so no big deal I have several months to find the wood to do these otherwise everything else has been oiled up and I'm going to put this back in the box and I'm going to start making our dinner right now but after dinner I'm going to think I might try to start putting these together I don't know if I'm going to do it tonight or tomorrow um, but I want to see how it goes together. I hope they all line up good. I just want to let you guys all know what the process is like. I don't know if anybody else is interested in getting one of these, but I've been wanting one for years, and I know it's something my family will use. And I was even thinking of, at one time, doing like an Airbnb type thing, but more like, you know, families can come out. I can't sell cider, but I certainly could let them pick apples and press their own. So it might be a little income stream on my little farm but we'll see I'm not not even close to that yet but anyway I just wanted to uh, show you how it goes together because if I struggle everybody will struggle so anyway I will be back shortly hey I wanted to show you how I'm putting this together it took me a little bit of fiddling to get the first couple in um, because you know you kind of have to have three hands to do it at first but it goes together pretty easy. I just had to make sure. Let me double count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. I had to make sure they were equally spaced. And it's just a matter of making sure. Let me double check again. You want the bevels, the beveled ends on the one side and the straight ends because there's a slight bevel on the one end very slight and the other one's perfectly straight so now that it's kind of balanced the rest of it should go together really quick it's just a matter of putting a couple screws in uh, finding the hole I just get it started I can get it started in that hole. Some of the holes are not really, really great, but it should go together pretty quick here. Get it, there's just a little hole there to get it started. And now the biggest thing is, is you do not want to over tighten these because you could crack the slats. So I'm just tightening it just until it's tight. I am not cranking it down. I'm not letting it like torque down on it. Being real gentle. The minute it hits bottom, I stop. So, like I said, it looks like it's going to go together pretty quick. Let me get my screws out of the way. I don't want to lose any. Once again, making sure my bevels are on the right side. And it looks like it's going together so far so good. Pretty pretty good. We will see when we get around to all of the slats in. But so far I'm pretty happy with how things are lining up. I know that was one of the complaints. One person out of several hundred had complained that it, the, it didn't line up right. But it looks to be pretty good for me. And it does help if you have a screw gun.
it's nice to have a screw gun. It goes together pretty easy. I don't think with my arthritis I could crank these all in it in a short time. Okay. We'll see how quick this goes together. It looks like it's going to go together fairly quick. I would rather do this outside instead of on this horribly messy table of mine with all of my journal stuff, but yeah, run right out of daylight sometimes. And like I said, the only reason I'm putting it together is I want to make sure it's all in one piece, make sure everything goes together well before, because um, I only have so many days to send it back on Amazon. And I don't want to have to worry about missing parts or anything like that. Or, like I said, some people complaining things didn't line up properly. Once I get it done, I don't want to make sure I don't want to strip my screws either. Once I get it done, I'm going to make a cover. I'm going to sew a cover for it on my sewing machine so that it will um, be dust and dirt free when it's out in my shed. And I think I might, I'm going to see if I can make it out of some of my old feed bags that are kind of plastic. I don't know, we'll see. I want to repurpose some of my feed bags from my chickens. I have some really nice um, sunflower seed bags. And I think I can make a nice plastic cover for it to keep it clean that way. But that's going to take that's going to take a little bit of designing. So we shall see. I know I can do it. I just have to figure out how I'm going to do it. So that's going to take me a few days to figure that part out. So I just thought other than putting the first now I do have one little do have a little scrape mark here which I'm not too happy with so so it doesn't rust I'm going to maybe find a paint pen I think I have a red paint pen and I think it's not bad I think it just looks like a little bit of shipping damage I'll show you that in a second here Okay. Let's see if I can spin this around so you can see what I see. See that spot right here, right there? I want to cover that with something to make sure it doesn't rust. I don't know if it will, but it's better be safe than sorry, in my opinion. Since this is something I waited a very long time to get, I want to make sure it stays in the best condition possible. I apologize for the beeping in the background. I was running my dishwasher, but can't you won't be able to hear me. Oh, now we have a little problem. This one doesn't line up super good. Now, this one is the problem. I see what people are complaining about. Some of the holes are not really perfect. That might be a problem here. Let's see. I think I will let me try a different slat. That one may have to go in on the opposite side. Whoop, did I move you too far there? Sorry about that. That's the one thing I was worried about is if my holes were going to line up all the way. So far I found one slat that doesn't. This one's getting out of whack too. Hmm. That could be a little bit of a concern if my holes don't line up properly all the way around. Let's try it. I hope I don't crack anything. That will be really upsetting. Looks like some of their holes are just a little out of whack here. So let's see if I can... Alright, I could get that slat in line. Pretty good there. Make sure, yep, I still got my bevels going the right direction. I was making sure it wasn't my fault. Yeah, I see something's going on here. It's like as I get around to this end, my holes get a little out of whack. 
I don't know if it's because of the other threat one I have on there. See, as you can see, it's just a little, not quite where I would want it to be. Let's try that one first. I'm going to get it started here. I'm not too happy with that. I just hope it doesn't get any worse because that's going to be a real bummer if it does. So I got that far. I'm not going to make you watch me screw every single slat in. I'll tell you if it gets any worse, I'm going to start from this side and go back this way, I think. I might take this one out and see if that's the culprit there. But anyway, I'll let you know if it gets worse. We'll be back in a, when I go on to the next step. I'll show you when I'm done with this. All right, I apologize for background noise. I got my dishwasher running. Um, what made a difference, I stopped just going around and I went across from where I was having the trouble and now my screws are lining up fine so I'm wondering if these were getting tipped a little bit this way so that seems to make the difference of putting this together is to jump back across to the other side and so far I have not had a problem with my slats not wanting to go in properly so um, if you're going to be putting one of these together I recommend doing a few slats, well I did all of these, um, and if you start to notice your screws are not lining up properly, jump across to the opposite side and start putting them together that way. That seems to make the difference of my holes lining up properly. But I'll let you know in a minute if I have any more issues with holes not lining up. Alright, you know what? I definitely found the key and that is to not try to go around completely in a circle to jump across and make sure that um, you maybe split it into thirds when you put it together because that keeps everything lined up properly. I don't know why it made a difference, but it did. And it looks like I have three screws extra, so they gave me more than enough screws. Putting in the last two, and this section will be done. Oh, that one I over tightened just a tad. Be careful with that. There we go. So my barrel, if you want to call it that, is complete. There we go. Let me get you back here. You can see a little better. So there you go. You can see it's on my messy desk. That is complete. It went together without a problem. I had I started and I did I started to go around in a circle and that's where they started to not line up properly. So I got the first six or so in, jumped to the other side, did a few here, jumped over here, did a couple, and then I filled in the gaps and all the screws were lined up properly. If I had kept going the way I was, it was seemed like they were getting out of line. I don't know why, but it worked much better this way. So I'm really happy with how this went together, and let me see um, what the next step is. All right, I'm definitely going to run out of room here, but... The next step is to put these threaded rods together, and as you can see, everything comes pretty well wrapped in a plastic wrap type, so that it doesn't get too dinged up. Actually, almost too good. I can't get it off. Now, let me trim this piece off. Maybe it'll help me unwrap it better. I'd rather it overwrapped than underwrapped, that's for sure. Oh my goodness. Alright, so I just have to put these two rods together. I want to make sure they go together pretty smooth. There's no problems there. All right, they went together very well. Now, the next step, and I don't know how much I'll be able to show you, I have to thread it into 
There's a hole down there. I left the plastic on here because I'm going to be storing this for quite a while. So I figured I'd rather leave the plastic in place just to be on the safe side. Let me see how well that threads down in that hole because if your threads aren't clean, it's not going to work very well. That's why I wanted to put this together because if my threads are not good, the whole thing's not going to work. That went in very well. Oh, I guess I could show you that way. So you can see it's threaded in there. And the next step will be to, I believe, put the screw on up there. <clears throat> ah, no, I see why they left me a couple extra screws here, which I don't know what happened to. Oh, here they are. All right, I need screws for this piece here. To go into, I'm not sure where that's supposed to go. I do not see any holes drilled, do I? No, I do not. All right, I got. It looks like I got to find the directions. Okay, I found my one issue for tonight, and it's not a big deal. It's just something to um, maybe consider. There's no pilot holes to put this plate on here on either side, as you can see. And one thing, you don't want to put it on here because you definitely do not want to screw into a, um, a knot there. And this one's far enough away, I should be okay here. But without a pilot hole, there's a good chance you can split this. So I'm going to have to go in the morning and find a drill bit. They're outside in the barn or in the shed. It's right on the edge of a knot here. So I want to drill a pilot hole, just a small one, to um, put those screws in. But so far, that's the only issue I've found on this entire thing. This is... Um, the crank, it seems really heavy duty. And so anyway, this is where I have to end for tonight until I get my pilot holes. I'm not even attempting to screw into that. So anyway, I'll finish this up tomorrow then, I guess. Right, this morning I found a drill that's slightly smaller than my screw. I don't want it bigger. So it's just one size smaller. I marked the depth, how deep I want to go with a little piece of tape. And to make it a little easier for me, I put a couple little pieces of double-sided tape on here so that when I put it on my block, I can put it exactly where I want it. It's not going to slip around. Make sure I've got it over the hole properly. That should be about, line it up straight, and now I can drill my holes. Go down in the center each hole. Try to get as centered as possible. Don't, probably can't see if you're angled, but I'm only going to go down as far as my tape. Okay. Do the other side. You see I've just got a little hole there. Centered as best as I can. Okay. All right, now I got to put my other bit back in. And we just had it set here a second ago. Looks like it rolled out of place here. I just had it. It's my screws. I'm going to put my drill bit, guys. Right there it is. All right, put my drill bit back. Whoops. Put it back in my, I figure out which way to open it here. Oh, that's closed. I don't know why I always do everything backwards. I just do. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. The last thing I need to do is put these two little screws in. The holes I drilled. That didn't help very well. It fell off. No. Well... That didn't stick stuck long enough to get the used to get it drilled anyway. Now let me see. Let 
me get my little screw started here. Put one there. Before I get too far, I want to get the other one started just to make sure I'm lined up well. Oh, that's a side I was worried about because of the knot, so at least I know I'm in and I haven't cracked it, so that's good. Let me get this last drill and hole screw in. Come on. Oh, sorry there. Got a little out of whack there. All right, so that's the last piece I had to put together. I test fit my, I'll take this off out of here so you can see it better. I test fit my, um, the press screw, made sure that that was working freely because that's one of those parts you want to make sure works really well. This is just there. I don't need that right now. But my, my, um, for the press goes up and down really well. That is a critical part. And this should fit just fine up here. They usually make it bigger. Of course, this goes underneath. And that goes on top. And then you put your blocks so you could squeeze. Now, from what I've been reading, the big issue is that, obviously, this is as far down as this is going to go, is to here. Once you get your pulp in here, it, you may need to press it down because it's going to condense so much. And I'm going to need to find some 2x4 two or 2x2s two or something and make a couple extra press blocks that I could put down in here. I don't need to do that until I'm ready to use it. But in the meantime, I tested everything. Everything seems to be working really well. I'm very happy with the quality. seems to be, it's heavy. This thing is a lot heavier than it looks. This is steel. I only had the one little mar, uh, maybe two, on my little uh, rings that I'm going to touch up probably with a little bit of fingernail polish or something like that. I think I have some red paint pen here just to protect the metal. And now I'm going to make a, a cover for it so it doesn't sit out in my barn getting all dusty or in my shed or chicken poop and bird poop on it. So um, that's my next step. But otherwise, I'm really happy with the quality of this. Obviously, I'm not pressing anything, but it seems to be pretty heavy duty, um, a lot heavier than it looks, that's for sure. So anyway, this is called the Useful Cider Press. I got it off of Amazon. It was $82.30 some cents on sale right now. It was 47% off. That's the main reason I picked it up when I did. And I'm going to be able to use this very, very much when the fall comes to do apple cider. It would work great for grape juice. And anything that you wanted to make juice out of. I bet you if I really wanted to, I could squish tomatoes in it. I won't. But if you wanted a lot of tomato juice, this would work for that too. Anyway, the useful cider press. Um, I'm So far, I'm really happy with the quality of it. So anyway, there you go. We put it all together, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.